Now across the channel to Belgium, where a house curves with the contours. When I arrived here the first time, I was so under the impression of the beauty of the site and tried to figure how we could set that house gently within this sloping, hilly site. And uh, quite fastly, I uh, gave the idea of making a big circle, partly built for the house and partly in trees. To get the perfect curve for the house, Salmon used a series of laminated lumber frames. The house lies along the top part of the curve, and a row of trees will, as they mature, continue the line around. All the rooms are positioned along the upper part of the house with views across the valley, while the lower south-facing corridor looks out onto an enclosed garden. The roof line was kept low so it doesn't stick up over the horizon. And the large overhang keeps the heat of the sun out of the south-facing windows. The shading is provided by the roof, so you enjoy south light, which gives a little you know, crispy light touch. And on the other side, you get this lovely, calm, you know, uh, nearly lazy north light, enjoying the view. The outside walls are covered in oak planking. And inside, Salmon made sure the house is as eco-friendly as it can be. Enclosed uh, between an inner plaster uh, wall and an outer oak wall, spaced from about 30 centimeters, filled with paper insulation. Um, so it's an extremely well insulated building. Inside the main arch, the rooms start, with the more public rooms at the west end. Like the combined living room and kitchen. And a small game room. Each one has a view over the valley. As the house continues to curve around to the east, you run into three bedrooms, bathrooms, and even a Turkish bath. But the thing you notice most are the tilting walls that run along both sides of the building. The volume is much smaller than one think. Uh, it's a, a, an illusion given by this, those sloping walls. From this wall, it fans out a little bit on the south side, it fans out more at the north side. That means that in the corridor, you have those weird doors, but I mean, they are charmed. This corridor vertical would have been unlivable because you would feel squeezed, you know? Eh? But the fact that you have this inclined wall with the windows makes you just more relaxed. Salmon tilted the walls in the larger main rooms too, for beauty's sake. You see through the window, it, the, the nature is really rolling down and up again. So. I, I felt very strongly that those walls would be perpendicular to the slope. Another uh, little thing here is, and justifying the inclined wall, is that you just have it, have, have, use it as a seat back, and the height of this window is dictated by that. So it's, it, and you see, it's just normal. This is a bench height, this isn't the correct height for your arm and you feel the fresh air breathing and refreshing you. Uh, I really strongly believed in those details.